Hello friends, welcome back to another video. If you are new here, hi, my name is Kim. I am an author illustrator and here on my channel, I love to share all things about books, about writing and just living a cozy and intentional life. I know I say this all the time friends, but today I really do have a special video planned out for you guys. Well, it's very special for me because as you can tell from the title of this video, I wrote a book and I'm going to be sharing with you guys that experience. I'm going to be talking about my book, what it's about, and just talking a little bit about that experience and how I came to write this book. This book is being traditionally published, so I'm publishing with an indie press called Spirit Bound Press. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about what that was like, how that whole situation came to be. So I recently received my author copies. Previous to this, I had not seen my book before. I was very excited when I received my author copies. I'm going to be playing my book unboxing video. I just received them like two days ago. It's just so you guys can see. I don't know, my first time ever seeing and holding my book. So I'm going to play that now and then after that I'm going to talk about what my book is about and then give you a little story about how I came to write this book and the book deal that I got. You guys, guess what I just got in the mail? It is very heavy, my husband help me bring it in but it is my author copies for my upcoming book incantations embodied rituals for reclamation resistance and empowerment i am super excited i have been waiting for these for such a long time and they are finally here oh my gosh okay i cannot wait any longer let's just get into it oh my gosh my stomach is hurting i think it's just because i'm nervous like, I already know how it looks like. I even have a copy of the dust jacket, but not the actual physical book. This is so surreal. I cannot believe I'm doing this right now. <laughs> Why is my stomach hurting? I feel nervous. I feel like because they're already here, I'm just, it just makes everything like super real, you know? Okay. All right. I'm very nervous. I see it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. <laughs> Okay, I don't know why they put, like, what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this? <gasps> oh my gosh. I cannot believe I'm holding this. <gasps> oh my goodness, it is like the perfect size. Oh, I'm afraid to open this. <sighs> you guys, okay, hold on. Look at that beautiful little embossment. I love that. And look at, that's, that's me right there. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so cool. <sighs> okay. Oh my gosh. This looks so perfect. Oh my God, I can't believe I have a book. I don't even have words for this. I feel like I'm still dreaming about one day having a book. This is so beautiful. I can't believe I wrote this. <laughs> wow, you guys. Wow. I can't believe they're here. They're here! So that was quite the experience when I first opened my box of books. I was super happy. Like I mentioned, I had never seen my books physically and it was quite the experience. So this is my book, Incantations Embodied, Rituals for Empowerment, Reclamation and Resistance. I still can't believe I'm holding this book in my hands. I feel like I'm still dreaming. So this is a wellness book. It's a healing book, a self-healing book. A little quick backstory about me. I am an artist and an illustrator and a poet. And when I first started my journey sharing my work on social media, I was going through this very self-healing journey. And I still am, but I was very new to it like years ago. Me navigating through this self-healing journey and my own unique experience 
is what led me to share poetry and my illustrations online and that sort of started trickling even bigger than what I expected a lot of people started resonating with that and that was beautiful to see so a lot of my work whether it was writing poetry, illustrating, was very much centered around healing, around community, healing generational trauma, reconnecting to my ancestry, to my indigenous roots. It was a beautiful unfolding of really finding out who I am, who I wish to be going forward, and healing generational trauma and habits that were very unhealthy for me. I don't really share about that experience here on YouTube. I do share more of that over on my Instagram, but I used to share some of that here on YouTube and I slowly started getting more into booktube and reading fantasy and fiction and sharing that experience with you guys but this is a huge part of who I am my wellness and my healing journey and I wrote a whole book about it <laughs> uh, this has been I want to say almost two years in the making I feel like going forward this book is really going to set the tone into what other future writing projects I write this is really going to be the book that encompasses is who I am as a writer even though this is a wellness book you really get a sense of who I am as a person and sets the tone as to what kind of books whether they're fantasy fiction I am going to be writing because this really is a vulnerable book about who I am past experiences and really navigating this journey into who I am today and who I am yet to become so my book is split into four parts and each part has two offerings also known as chapters but I'm calling them offerings so there's a total of eight offerings and each offering takes you on a journey of self-discovery a very transformative I would call it, journey of figuring out who you are healing those wounded parts of ourselves and finding resilience in those parts of ourselves that have haunted us that have harmed us in many different ways and finding beauty in that we can dictate how we wish to live how we wish our pain to interact with us and how we can transmute that pain into um, empowerment into joy into resilience i like to describe my book as a homecoming to the self because this entire journey of my book really is a journey of coming back to yourself of digging deep into our minds our bodies our spirits and figuring out what needs to stay, what doesn't serve us, what has harmed us, and how we can overcome these obstacles in our lives. For me, words, poetry, illustrations have been so powerful in my life and that is one thing that I absolutely love about poetry and writing and art illustrations is that it can really make us feel seen. It could really hold us in moments when we feel like we are not being understood, in moments when we feel that the world is colliding around us and we have no way to express ourselves or we are being told that we must act like this do this do that and we are really just following a, a normalized harmful societal standards that do not serve us and so illustrating and writing poetry has really helped me navigate that journey of finding myself of feeling seen of feeling empowered and all of that is infused in this book it is full of poetry it is it is a guide it is full of illustrations it has rituals little spells that you can do for yourself to feel empowered to overcome those obstacles in your life that you feel still are keeping you locked in or keeping you down. I feel like many of us have grown up in this society where so many harmful things have been normalized, whether it is through societal culture, whether it is through our own um, families, uh, through our own origins, through our households, through our genders, whatever it may be, I feel like a lot of harmful things have been normalized that have harmed us tremendously and we either subconsciously or unsubconsciously have internalized that and it has sort of rippled into our external worlds and has caused more harm or we just feel like we just don't belong and it has done all these 
big and little things that do not let us live happily, that we feel we're not living in our truth. And so each of the offerings in my book is a guide to help you dismantle the, that, to help you sort of transform and transmute those harmful experiences into powerful ways of living and existing. In my book, I do talk about healing in a way that is decolonial because I feel like a lot of like this healing that is very mainstream has even been very harmful and I feel that it is time that we look at our healing at ourselves in a way that doesn't abide by these normalized societal standards and we start decolonizing our our healing we start doing it in a way that best serves us because what serves someone will not serve that other person and vice versa so it is good to have ways that we heal where it is true to us that really supports us our individuality our self-expression and so my outlook on healing in my book is through a very decolonial way of healing of course i talk a lot about my own personal experiences my own generational traumas that i have been dealing with and um, it is a very vulnerable book, but I feel like it was necessary for me to be able to share those experiences with you guys. I wrote this book in a way where I wanted the readers to feel like I'm your friend. I don't want to act as someone who knows better than you, as someone who is has overcome all these many things because like I said, I am still learning. I am still a work in progress and I feel like that is important to say because just because I wrote a book about healing doesn't mean that I have all the answers, but I feel like this is a perfect gateway for anyone who doesn't know where to start, who doesn't know um, where to begin their healing journey. And so I share my own personal experiences as a friend, as someone who is just sitting down with you talking about healing and overcoming generational traumas. One of the things that I've learned in this journey is how vital and important it is for me to live with authenticity to live truly authentic to what and who i want to be and who i am i feel like when i am living to the truth of who i am as a person as a daughter as a wife as just a human existing in this world there is just so much more clarity and beauty in that because no longer are you dictating your life according to the customs of how you grew up what society tells you you must do who you were told your entire life growing up what you must be and i feel like when you really search deep down into the core of who you want to be how you want to be how you want to exist how you wish to navigate this precious life that we have here there's literally nothing that can reckon with that because now you're living with authenticity and now you know yourself more a more personal relationship with yourself to where you no longer have to put yourself in uncomfortable situations in situations where you that do not serve you and so this book is really a homecoming to yourself it is really an invitation to explore your inner worlds with care and compassion with vulnerability with truth to who you are it has you ask yourself the very honest and serious questions it is a workbook so you can um, scribble on this you can write on this so not only is it a sort of informational guide but you can also you know journal on it you can there's a lot of prompts that i wrote on here that you can that you can um work through that really has you sit with yourself with compassion and with care to ask yourself those sometimes often hard questions and hopefully from there you can really get some clear answers about yourself to really heal certain parts of yourself that really need tending to every chapter starts with a beautiful image that i illustrated and that you can uh, feel free to color in i left them just with the outline intentionally that way folks if they wish to they can just color the image in and it's supposed to show the first image in the chapter or in the offering is supposed to show the before you read the chapter and this is supposed to encompass really the before effects or mood and then once you read the chapter then you're supposed to feel the effects of having read that chapter and hopefully embody this image right here so you go from someone in this particular chapter which is 
called Desenredar or Unravel. It shows someone who is sort of like sinking, not particularly drowning, but definitely in some sort of sorrow state. And you read the chapter and hopefully you feel empowered, enlightened, and honing in your truth. So I did every offering in that sense. And also every offering starts with a little short fantasy story which is by far one of my favorite things that i did for my book i played around with short stories and depending on what that chapter is all about i attached a short story regarding that a fantasy a folk tell short story so you're getting short stories you're getting fantasy you're getting rituals you're getting little spells you're getting poetry you're getting quotes you're getting a guide you're getting illustrations this is a workbook this is meant to be a transformative guide for you to come back to yourself to heal yourself with compassion with truth to reconnect to yourself in a very deep and meaningful way i worked with an amazing editor on this and they really helped me visualize my book in something way bigger than what i had uh, originally imagined and i am so grateful for that opportunity to have been uh, paired with an amazing editor so that is my book friends incantations embodied rituals for empowerment reclamation and resistance again my book comes out on may 21st and i am also doing some incentives for folks who pre-order my book because pre-orders are very important for authors uh pre-orders is what really determines for bookstores to carry the book physically in store so the more pre-orders the better so i would really appreciate your support like I mentioned, I am offering some pre-order incentives. So I have three offerings and you can claim all of them once you pre-order. All you need is your order number and I will leave the link down below. So basically when you pre-order, you can go over to the link I'll leave down below where you can claim these free goodies. And the first one is a 10 page coloring book of illustrations and poetry that are not included in the book. The second one is a ritual. And this particular ritual, I crafted it to give you strength. That is a written ritual that you can also claim and then the third one is a workshop it is a pre-recorded workshop where i teach you how you can write and create powerful incantations you can claim all of these goodies when you pre-order my book i will leave the link down for you guys below if you pre-order and you want to claim those free goodies now as promised i do want to share a little bit about how i ended up getting this book deal and how this book came to be i will say that it was very untraditional how i ended up getting this book offer it is a very unusual case that I feel it wouldn't have happened if I didn't have the platform I have over on Instagram. I have been creating and growing my platform on Instagram for the past over five years and it has been tremendously beautiful to see the outpouring of love and of folks who resonate with my work and I always knew. I always knew that I wanted to write my own book and illustrate my own book. So about two years ago I had already been getting some commission work to draw covers for books for other authors and that was great I really enjoyed that experience of illustrating book covers for other authors so at this point I already had a few book covers that I illustrated under my belt and in particular I had illustrated this book cover tarot for pregnancy as well as some interior images and this uh, this tarot deck as well that is tarot for pregnancy but the deck um i illustrated the entire deck and then the entire box i had illustrated this for a publisher called row house publishing it was great i loved working with that publisher and then that publisher had a i think they're called subprints under them which is spirit bound press which is my publisher and that publisher's representative ended up reaching out to me we are very good friends on instagram i've been following her work forever she is also an author an amazing amazing person who i am a huge fan of and she is in charge of spirit bound press so she reached out to me already have had some sort of relationship on instagram for some years now and considering that i had illustrated tarot for pregnancy we kind of were like in the same circle she ended up reaching out about me potentially writing my own book i immediately said yes because this was something that i always wanted and so that's kind of how things came about we started discussing what potential book i would want to write i had to do a whole bunch of research and send her some information about the potential book i wanted to write 
right and what it would be about. I already knew, of course, that I wanted it to be about uh, wellness and about healing, about reconnecting to ourselves and all of the stuff that I mentioned that my book is about. And I wanted it to have poetry and prose and rituals. I wanted it to be this very magical book. I had to do a whole book proposal, potential chapters. They sent me like a list of things I needed to send to them for it to potentially be picked up. And so I did. I sent all of that information in and sure enough, uh, my publisher got back to me and they said that yes, they would love to publish my book. Now, I do not have a book agent because like I mentioned that they reached out to me, but I think after my book is out, I am definitely going to be looking for a book agent. I definitely want to have a book agent for potential books I want to write. I think book agents are very helpful in the sense where they can guide you and tell you whether certain book deals sound fair, especially with your advances and just what sounds fair like contracts and emailing back and forth it was very overwhelming I will say that with a whole bunch of emails and I had to do a lot of research on words you know I am a first-time author and there was a lot of publishing particular words that I just didn't understand in this industry it was a very new industry for me that I was excited to be in but it was a very intimidating and scary luckily the publisher who I worked with was very caring and compassionate and they were happy to answer any of my questions. I understand that this was a very special opportunity for me because these types of opportunities don't really come around quite often. I know a lot of authors and um, illustrators have to go through an agency and a whole process and getting a book agent or an illustrating agent and getting book deals in that way. So I understand that this was a very special and unique experience for me, but that's also the power of social media and that's why I'm very passionate about you know, sharing my work as well. I started sharing my work as just a means of understanding myself and healing and just being in community and making friends, something that I just never thought I could make a career out of. And that's what it is now. And I'm very fortunate and grateful. So I'm, I'm very passionate about folks putting themselves out there, even as scary and as vulnerable as it may sound. There are many folks out there who will resonate with your work because something about your work also speaks to their own experience. Of me putting my out there these amazing opportunities have come by and that that is that's beautiful to see but for sure the next step is getting a book agent because I want to step into the world of writing novels and writing fiction and fantasy and poetry as well. I've always wanted to write a solely just poetry book and that, that, that's just something I've always wanted to do. So I know that to make the journey less stressful and more easeful, it would be best to get a book agent. So we'll see. We'll see what comes about. Um, I would love to illustrate more books and just continue this beautiful journey. But you guys, I wrote a book, okay? I wrote and illustrated a book and it was amazing. If you wish to support my book, if you wish to support my work, I will leave the links down below for you to pre-order and also for you to claim these free goodies that I am giving away until May 21st. Going forward, friends, I am going to be doing a lot of book-related videos because that's sort of what's happening in my life. We are currently in May and my book release is May 21st. So there are a lot of fun things happening. I am going to be recording the audiobook for my book coming soon. I just got news that um, I got approved for me to be able to narrate my own book. So that's gonna be exciting. I'm thinking of taking you guys along. So I'm gonna be just doing a lot of stuff for my book. So you might not get a lot of bookish booktube content this month from me or other just slower paced videos. It might just be videos of me doing book marketing stuff, a whole bunch of book stuff. The week that my book launches, I have some things planned as well. I think I'm going to be doing a um, live reading somewhere. My, my publisher is planning all of that. So there's a lot of exciting things happening. So I'm gonna take you guys along and share the ride but yeah that's what's gonna happen in May friends and I hope you don't mind this is a very exciting thing for me very new to all of this I don't know what to expect I'm very nervous but very excited so yeah I hope you don't mind me just taking you all along and for the bookish booktube content to sort of slow down 
this month because this is what's present in my life right now. I, I have to do a lot of marketing for this book right now, especially this month. So friends, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions regarding my book or regarding the publishing process or just curious about anything, let me know. Um, actually, any questions regarding my book, I would love to do another video on it or just publishing in general. I'm thinking of maybe doing a series of what it was like or any questions in general. Leave them down below. I might just do a separate video on this and who knows it might help someone out there and it turns into a little mini series thank you again friends for being here remember that you can create the life that you want because you so deserve it friend i will be seeing you in a video very very soon take care bye for now